Hi, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint for Data Security Solutions. And today I have joining me Jeffrey Hall, who is the Principal Sales Engineer at Forcepoint. And he will be sharing with us some examples of how we can increase productivity for marketers using ChatGPT, um, leveraging the, um, the capabilities of Forcepoint Data Security. And so we'll be giving some examples of um, some positive things that people can do um, particularly for marketers. Marketers, um, ChatGPT really is a, a just a tremendous opportunity. Uh, people are, uh, often are concerned about it replacing jobs, but what, what I found personally and what many marketers are finding is that it's just really a great tool for helping to generate ideas, helping to um, uh, focus um, any kind of writing that needs to be done, um, helping just to kind of help the process continue and really actually increase productivity, which is uh, super important. So, um, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, Jeff, if you can maybe uh, give us an example of a, a positive yeah. usage of um, ChatGPT for marketers. Yep. Let me uh, jump over to my lab here. And so what we've got is obviously we're here within within the OpenAI you know, ChatGPT uh, platform. Um, and when I've got initially, and you and I kind of spoke about this a little bit, uh, like when you're going for looking for ideas, right? So, so first thing we're going to take a look at to show, you know, how to enable it, right? So um, coming here, I'm asking, you know, ChatGPT to write me a blog post outline, you know, for five reasons why an organization um, would have, uh, you know, you know the comprehensive data programming, you know, you know, just to get some ideas about what I want to you know, do for my post, right? So it comes out here, it gives me a good example, you know, introduction, reasoning behind, you know, certain ones, and then the conclusion. So it's an overall, overall um platform right great so now, yeah. now well, i'm looking got, at this know, too i'm looking at this too right. I'm, just, I'm just thinking is this good or not you know and i um yeah. it, it gives seven gives seven points but two of the points is the intro and the conclusion which is great and then um the other five um i'm looking at talks does talk about some of the, the key use cases compliance and regulatory requirements that's that's a big issue mitigating financial loss is of course important um ma maintaining business continuity and reputation is good these are good and um, I, I think for myself as a marketer, I would I would utilize I you know this is useful. It's it's useful. I wouldn't copy and paste this. Um, I don't think I would even write my blog directly based on it because I do think I have some uh, additional things that I would like to uh, put in. And of course, there's a lot of content that needs to be put in. But this is good. It, it could save some time. Okay, um, Jeff. So um, what would be another example of marketers using this that may not be such a positive? Right. So we've got a new product coming out, right? You want to you know, talk about it, you know, its capabilities. And so, what we, you know, coming out in Q3. So what we've got here is a little statement that we're asking it to, um, to come in and, you know, give us, you know, give us, you know, a 15 word messaging statement around this new product, right? And this product is codenamed Denali, right? It's going to have great force point. It's going to solve data security through lineage. It'd be, you know, it's a very innovative product. Um, and it's you know, coming out uh, in, in Q4. So mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a marketer, you'd probably want to have a, a, a quick summary, like an elevator, you know, quick, you know, press the button, you know, you know pitch what it is. Super right? so you come in here. Yeah. yeah. And so what we've done is sort of just in, within well, this statement here, we've actually referred to the internal secret project name, right, uh, of what it is. And that's called Denali, right? We're not saying, you know, product X, but it's actually, you know, because I'm, I'm working, I'm typing like, yeah, I want to do something for Denali, right? So what's happened here is I've got a pop-up that comes. I'm like, all right, well, there's something happened here that's preventing it from go out, right? So what we've done is we've added protections around our project, you know, product names and project names uh, from that. And so here I'm like, okay, well, I probably don't want to just get this out there. I don't want to leak out into uh, into the space about you know the new project coming up. Um, well, so I'll go ahead and, and, and block I that. Noticed, right? I noticed with that block with that pop-up as well. It was very descriptive as far as what was the problem. There was yep. a secret of the secret name combined with the details is IP. I mean, at that point, yep. it's 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 yep. very valuable IP. We would not want that out, right? Um, okay, and then there was actually a block then that um, yes, block, that, yeah. block that information. Yeah, I, it's it would be very tempting for a marketing person because often we get stuff from from dev and from uh, product management that's kind of obtuse. We'd like to summarize it, do something that's really c catchy. And um, mm -hmm. you know, really uh, write a, a messaging statement. But um, the thing is, it in this context, it's not a good idea. Uh, and so, um, uh, Forcepoint Data Security was able to block that kind of behavior. And it also kind of gave it gave a learning, it gave a 
this learning moment as well, because you had that pop-up, which described right. what the problem was. So if you're a person can understand, you can't put internal names of products and the details of those products that are future roadmap things. Those cannot go out. And so it was able to Correct. catch that. Great. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks for your time, Jeff. And mm -hmm. um, for, um, for some additional uh, uh, examples of how you can use uh, chat, chat GPT and other generative AI tools safely and increase your productivity across a, a range of different uh, use, users within an organization, please check out our um, YouTube Tech Talk um, playlist, Safely Use AI Tools with Force My Data Security. There's the link there. And you'll be able to see more videos as well on this subject. Uh, thanks again, Jeff, for your time. And um, thanks for watching this video. Thanks.